I'm Nick with Drain My Lawn and today we're going to talk about how does block my roots work. So I've talked about in other videos about how we block roots, that so we put root blockers on our systems and uh, I've gotten some questions about that. So today I'm going to describe and explain to you how block my roots actually blocks roots. When roots infiltrate a system, a drain system, they're going to infiltrate at, a, at the points of the system where water can escape because roots are attracted to water. They grow via capillary action is how they're actually, they decide to go towards a, uh, in a certain direction. And so they find water and at a cellular level, then follow that water source. So the smallest, slightest water source is able to get that, uh, to, to attract that root and come in and infiltrate your system. So even if you sealed your system, did amazing. If there was, let's say you got uh, a really heavy storm one day and it pressurized your system and got a little bit of a slight leak right there. And then we have a dry season afterwards. What happens is that little water, just the tiniest amount of water that comes out of there is enough to tell that tree, that root, hey, there's water here, go in that direction. And what happens is a tree root will grow in, it'll, it'll come right into the, into the system, right through that crack at a cellular level, just put a small root there, and it'll find more water. And then it'll find more water, and then it keeps on growing and growing, and then eventually it prides its way in and then fills in the whole area because now the root fills the area, it then starts to collect debris because things collect onto it, it dams up more water, brings in more roots, and that cycle continues. So that's how roots infiltrate a system so how does block my roots block roots well the secret is copper you can see right here there's a copper layer right inside our material this root blocker has a sheet of copper it's perforated so there's geotextile on both sides sandwiched in between is a copper sheet and there are perforations throughout because we're not relying on blocking the tree from knowing there's water there. What we're relying on is just stopping the root from being able to grow in the first place because copper destroys roots at a cellular level. And this is why copper sulfate is used in septic tanks, why you see uh, other reputable contractors using uh, copper, sul copper sulfate in their drainage systems is because copper, uh, the, the copper in copper sulfate is what kills the roots. Uh, and so, um, the uh, copper sulfate it dissolves and it eventually dissipates. However, copper itself produces the same ions and it's able and capable to destroy roots at a cellular level and stop them from growing in the first place. Now, when we install your system and we install the root wrap around that joint, see right there, that's the point right there where the system, where the water, the tree knows there's, there's a, there is water. We put that root blocker right there the soil presses against this, and now roots can still detect there's water, no problem, right? But they, they get up there, and they try to grow through the copper, and the copper shreds them. It destroys them at a cellular level. It kills the cells. So no matter how hard the tree tries, it can't actually grow there, and it can't send the information back. So eventually what happens is it, it, it acts as an actual physical barrier, but it's chemical, and it stops the roots from growing there. Not only does it physically stop roots from growing through this spot, over time, it creates an ion area barrier in the soil of copper ions that repel the tree roots from ever coming into that area. This has been tested on the most invasive species, rooting species, in the world. We use it for our drain systems. We put on each and every one of our inlets. And in that way, tree roots can never grow in unless they're introduced somewhere else. Because on a drain system, when your pipe, when there's no perforations, there's no water anywhere this is perfectly sealed so when water's coming through here a tree has no idea there's there's water there water comes and goes tree doesn't know it's at the point pipe joints is where the tree knows that there's water and will try to enter your system uh, so that's how try, block my roots blocks roots in your system and it does it forever so it's a small investment for your drain system to last many years and to stop roots from destroying it. Because once roots get into your system and fill it up, you're putting in a brand new system. It's uh, very difficult and pretty much impossible to recover a drain system once it's been completely taken over by roots. Go to blockmyroots.com, 
to get your root blockers today. It's a very small investment considering how much time and effort and money you're going to put into your, your drain system. You want it to last forever. You don't want to have to do it again just because you didn't use Block My Root. So you don't have to take my word for it. There's a, a research that was performed by the University of Leeds in the UK uh, using testing the exact same material that Block My Roots is made from. Uh, this is the, uh, the control. So this is the Block My Roots material versus not having it. Uh, this is after seven days. Uh, in, a, uh, in an inert material, uh, there were plants planted, and you can see after seven days, uh, the root zone of inhibition caused by the copper is visible. You see where there's nothing there. There's just a regular geotextile. The roots can grow all the way down. You can see the little seedlings here. And uh, where there was the block my roots material was installed, you see that there is absolutely uh, root inhibition. This was another experiment done to see if it increased over that. So what happened is that for four weeks, uh, this was let to sit there. So the, uh, the Block My Roots material was left in there along with the control for four weeks. And then they ran the test to see if there would be uh, what kind of growth would happen. And so they ran and they, they planted the seedlings in for uh, for four uh, for seven days and you see over here in the control with uh, with no copper there is the root growth going down but where there is copper the roots could not even make it past the seedling look at that the roots the root the zone of inhibition increased so uh, this does tell us that in soil the zone of in inhibition increases over time obviously it's finite but it will increase over time and help create, protect the system longer term rather than uh, being dissolving and going away because we're actually using real copper, as you can see right here in, in the material. There's real copper. It stays there, it doesn't go away. Now here's a look of what happens at a cellular level uh, with uh, the Block My Roots copper. So when a healthy root tip is growing, uh, this has been stained with fluorescence, so you can see it, and you can see the uh, the fluorescent the, the the stuff stays on the outside, which per, uh, indicates that the 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 cells are healthy and it's not going on the in, uh, not going inside of the root. Now here, this was stained, and the black spots on the outside and the fluorescence being on the inside of the root indicates that these cells have been destroyed and are dying, either dead or dying. So this is no copper. This is with copper. The block my roots material, exactly the block my roots material. See, there's a healthy one without. This is in the control. This is with the block my roots material. You could see that the copper actually stops the roots from growing properly and it destroys them at a cellular level. Now, because it's at a cellular level and just the root tip, it doesn't kill the plant because we're not cutting off existing roots. We're just stopping new roots from growing. So this is what you can, what block my roots does to trees, tree roots that come close to your system and try to grow into your system. This is what they would look like without it. This is what they look like with it.